Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get into the Word of God. Let's go to the book of Psalms, chapter number 100, and we're going to look at verse number 2. The Bible says, Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. <laughs> you know, this is a... This comes up a lot uh, within Christian circles, people who uh, say that they can't sing. And so during church, they don't, they don't sing the hymns, they don't participate, and, and, uh, and I think it's a mistake. I think we, we should all, whether you can carry a note or not, it doesn't matter, uh, because when you're praising the Lord in song, um, it's for the Lord. It's not for other people. So even though other people are like, Ooh, you know, that doesn't sound the greatest. Um, number one, who cares? You're not singing to them anyway. You're singing to the Lord. And number two, the Lord looks at your singing and, and you're praising him as a wonderful, beautiful thing. In fact, you're, we're commanded to. It says it right here, right? Uh, come before his presence with singing. And then it dawned on me too. You know, when do we sing, right? Most of us, we sing when we're happy. When we're in a good mood, when things are going well, maybe you just received some great news or something, what happens? Whether you can carry a tune or not, you start singing. And let me tell you, I, I know this. I, I've seen so many people do this. People who I know cannot carry a tune. They know they cannot carry a tune. They admit they cannot carry a tune. But when they're happy... They can't help it. They start humming. They start whistling. Or sometimes, actually a lot of times, they just straight up start singing. You know, da, 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 da. Because we sing when we're happy. Let's look at this verse again. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. God doesn't want us to just serve him and and uh you know just come before him in his presence but he wants us to do it with gladness he wants us to be glad and happy about it and joyful and so much so that we start singing because again we only sing when we're happy right and and so he wants us to come before him cheerful and happy with a song in our heart. And, you know, I feel sorry for people who feel like they have to drag themselves to church. You know, it's like, oh, I got I to gotta check in and get my spiritual points. And, oh, I got to go to church. And, and it becomes a chore. It's like, don't even go. Seriously. If that is your attitude toward church, number one, either don't go to church or find a better church because there's, there's a problem somewhere. Either there's a problem with the church that you're going to that's ruining your spirit or there's a problem with your spirit, but, but something's got to give. That is not the way church is supposed to be. I love going to church and I've, I've raised my kids to love going to church and it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing because we want to come before the presence of God with gladness and singing. We are, we're happy to be children of God. We are happy and glad to have been exposed to truth, to absolute truth, and to know these things when so much of the world is living in darkness. And, and God has, has seen us to be fit to, to know the truth. In his eyes. Obviously, we're not. We're all sinners. But nevertheless, he allowed us to know that he chose us to know the truth, to reveal his truth to us. I mean, that's, that is a, a wonderful thing worth praising God about. And, and so whenever we come to church and it's time to sing, I mean, if you love the Lord, you should be singing. And if you're not, then, then honestly, as a Christian, you need to check your heart. There's, there's something not right there. We should all be saying, I don't care if you can carry a tune. And by the way, neither does God. It doesn't matter if you can carry a tune. The point is that out of the abundance of the heart, 
the mouth speaks. And so if we are filled with the gladness and joy of Jesus Christ, it's going to come out of our mouths. And, and again, I point to Psalm 100 verse 2. It is a commandment. Serve the Lord with gladness. That is not a suggestion. That's a commandment. Come before his presence with singing. Thank you so much for joining me today. God bless you. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.